How you doing, YouTubers? Jerry here. I uh, just got a pager sent in from a guy from New Jersey. He wanted me to program it. Um, he wanted weather frequencies in it. Um, and I uh, just went in. And uh, this pager was set at uh, a frequency range of 151.0 to... Uh, 158.999 megahertz and uh, if you go into uh, the engineering data which is right here you can actually change the band split which you'll see right here now it was set right here 151 to 158.999 megahertz I went in then and switched it to 159 to this here 166.999 megahertz and uh, it actually took the data and uh, if you see if I read it now it will come up and there's the band split for this pager which is 159.000 megahertz to 166.999 megahertz and all the information stays the same in the pager except for the band split and you can see here now it has 162.55 megahertz and the band split here is set this frequency here hasn't been set yet I'm working on that I'll probably put another weather, weather frequency in it for him no call tones or nothing being programmed on it Mode switches. Uh, this is uh, this does have voice, but it will not be activated with this feature due to weather programming. And these here are the channels. SW stands for switch. It's going to be switch A, switch B, switch C, switch D, and different number options. Uh, once you click on these, this changes the uh, channel and whatever it's monitoring or if it's on selective call so uh, this will not be able to scan because these right here will be open frequencies uh, monitoring weather 24 7 so it will not scan at all uh, he would have to monitor each each band by selecting either A or B on top and so that just goes to show you you can change the band split in any fire pager and this does work it's been tested thank you